Arthur, how you doing? Nervous, but I've been nervous for a while. I had a lot of time to think in that jail, and I feel like I just don't know Dutch no more. You ain't the only one. And this plan to get us out, it just feels... I don't know. Like he's stringing us along, I know. Killing in cold blood, revenge. We all do bad things, but he seems to enjoy it now. It's like he just wants to create more enemies, more chaos. Yeah, I know. I mean, I love Dutch. He saved me a long time ago. I feel like in San Denis, when I got arrested, maybe he could have done something. I feel like you should take your woman and child and get lost. Do you? What reason you got to stick around at this point? It's done. I don't see no way out of any of this. What about loyalty? That's long been broken. But what are you gonna do? I gotta see this through. Try and make some of it right. There was a code we had. Gotta still mean something. Sure. I know, but... Listen to me. When the time comes, you gotta run and don't look back. This is over. And now? Now we gotta help Dutch give the army one final tweak on its nose. <laughs> yeah, come on. Help me with the rest of this. <sighs> well, it looks like we finally found our calling in life. this thing out onto the bridge. There's a spot about a third of the way across where we can get down underneath to plant the charges. I've already set up the detonator. So, let's get this over with. You hear about Dutch and Cornwall? Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. More enemies, more chaos. I mean, we're about to blow up a bridge for Christ's sake. Stuff. We'll need it. I'll climb down there, you lower the crates. Alright, let me know when you're ready. <laughs> Got it. Ready when you are. I'm at the bottom of the ladder, here to your left. There's good. Lower it down. I'm ready, come on. All right, take it slow. That's not something we want to drop. That's it. Nearly there. Okay, good. Grab the other one. Time. Come on. Nice and easy. Got it. All right, come down here and help me plant this stuff. I need some help down here. Okay. Grab yourself a bundle from the box. The bridge is wired to the detonator. We need to attach each of those bundles to the fuses. 
There's one on each of the main support bays. Okay. Just ain't how I want to die. Come on. Let's go blow this thing up. Um, I think the line held. You want the honors? Sure. Old Dutch got all the smoke he wants. Well, let's hope so. <laughs> you really think that that'll draw attention away from us? I guess we'll see. Tell the truth, I ain't even sure I fully understand Dutch's plan with all this. Like I said, John, when the time comes, you go. What about loyalty to, to everything? You've been loyal. I've been loyal. Look what that cost. You know, all that ever mattered to me was loyalty. It was all I knew. It was all I ever believed in. Well, not anymore, John. Soon, you gotta go. Go. Don't look back. I'll think about it. You know, I've done a lot of thinking. Look at us. Out here risking our necks and for what exactly? For, for a silly idea. 
that don't even exist. How you mean? You know just what I mean. You need cash. You got a family. I need a vacation. And Dutch has all the money for safekeeping. You know something? Abigail thinks she might know where some of that money is. Well, you tell her she better make sure. And then come talk to me. And we'll find out just who and what we should be loyal to. I don't know, Arthur. Nor do I. But I am starting to see things clearly now. And I ain't being taken for a fool no more. Now get out of here. Come in. <coughs> you don't sound very well. I'm not. I'm, I think I'm dying. Then I hope you find peace. I don't know too much about peace. Apparently not. Thanks to that raid you carried out with my angry son, he is now in jail. Apparently awaiting death. Um, uh, I'm sorry. I suppose I lack the grandeur of a conventional king. I don't know too many kings. <laughs> Colonel Favors. He has already exacted some measure of revenge for the raid. Two women were assaulted by his men. Um, I'm very sorry about all of this. Yes. Sometimes the correct path, the bravest path, is the least obvious and also the gentlest. I'm... I'm a great disappointment to my son. Your son seems to want a war. My son thinks there is glory in death. Maybe he's right, but for me, 
I saw death being handed out so freely by the most foolish of men, I never could equate it with victory. Glory has come in service. Maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. I've killed a lot of people. For a whole lot of dumb reasons, and I ain't never seen much glory in it. Well, your friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, he talks a lot. I don't know him, but my son is easily lit. I'm not sure I get you. Uh, well, perhaps we could go for a ride. I'm an old man. My whole life I have tried to bring peace. But uh, I ain't doing so good. Then maybe you can take pity on my plight. Please, it won't take long. <coughs> and maybe I can help you with that cough. Sir! Hmm. I'm glad I caught you, sir. Captain Monroe, do you know my friend, Mr. Morgan? No, sir. I don't have the pleasure. Arthur Morgan. It's an honor, sir. How can I help you, Captain? I was just in San Denis. I spoke with the mayor. It's not good news, I'm afraid. May I ride with you for a little? Of course. Follow me. So where are we going? I want to show you a site up in the mountains that's long been sacred to me. A place for reflection and healing. What is this news, Captain Monroe? Yes, sir. As I mentioned, I did speak again with the mayor and the Bureau of Indian Affairs in Saint Denis at length. But regrettably, it appears the oil company has already received approval to move forward with drilling on the reservation's land. I suppose there's much. So what does that mean for us now? I'm not sure just yet. I didn't get the impression anything would be happening for a few months. I'm very sorry, sir. I did everything I could. I know, Captain. And I assure you I will continue to do as much as I can. Mr. Morgan, would you have time to help me at all? I would rather certain actions were taken by friends outside the tribe. Sure, I can help. That's good news. Thank you. Come meet me on the reservation whenever you can. I'm sorry to be forward, but there's so much to be done. Anyway, gentlemen, I won't take up any more of your time. I'll see you both soon. Sure. Thank you, Captain. Enjoy the ride. See? What's left of that bridge over there? I heard about it being destroyed. Do you know if that was also my son's doing? No, I'm pretty sure he had nothing to do with that one. Well, I fear they will find a way to blame it on us anyway. We'll continue on this way. I'm going to look for some herbs to give you. See the wolves over there feasting on that horse? Brutality and beauty are both all around us. Yet so often we're unable to see past our own grievances. This is what I try to teach my son. Yeah! Go on, get out of here! Good. There was no need to harm them. <laughs> if you want, Mr. Morgan. But don't feel like you have to. It's a beautiful ride ahead if you need some time to think. So, I ain't exactly sure why I'm here. I guess the situations have become tangled. Yes, my son is in jail. I'm sure Charles will find a way to help Eagle Flies, but... I think you know something of du- Sorry, uh, hold up a moment. That'll have to wait. Some of the plants I need will be growing down here.
Okay. Let's continue on. So back to what I was talking about. I think you know something of Dutch by now. Yes. I know enough. That seems hell-bent on making your son's fight his own. And it just feels to me like he ain't doing it all out of solidarity. And what else does he have to gain from it? Well, I ain't quite sure yet. He's kind of unwound right now. Okay. Let me give this some more thought. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Well, you got no reason to thank me. So, conditions are that bad on the reservation? Yes. This conflict with Colonel Favors and his regiment at Fort Wallace continues to worsen. Many of the elders are sick, and the young feel that any compromise is an admittance of defeat. Yeah, compromise ain't an easy thing to learn. I felt like that once, too. I was there 20 years ago for all the fighting, and I saw where it led. But my people come to me for answers. And I have none. I cannot even guide my... Wait, stop here. I want to pick some ginseng. We can talk more about this later. Well, <laughs> wait there. I'll put these in your saddlebag. Mix these together. It tastes awful, but it'll help to keep your strength up. All right, let's go. It's not much further now. No, I was saying something, uh... Oh, yes. But my people come to me for answers. And I have none. I cannot even guide my own son. It is hard to tell someone who is being treated unfairly not to fight back. Dutch used to tell me that revenge was a fool's game. But now... Feels like he's developed a compulsion for it. Any action without violence is difficult, especially when my son is involved. But when the intent becomes violence, that's when the cycle begins again. <laughs> yeah, I've been in that cycle my whole life. Just put that away. One ride, that's all I ask. And that feller. Monroe, how you know him? Captain Monroe was reassigned here from a regiment in the north. Apparently, the news of our conflict has spread all the way to Washington. He's a good man. He wants to help. Well, I guess that's something, at least. The army aren't all bad men. Just as my people aren't all good. But this Colonel Favors, he walks an old line. He's obstinate, and he hates Monroe. I just hope between us we can work this out. It's just up ahead. What's happened? No! It can't be! No! This 
you destroyed everything. No, I need to find the Chinupa. Who, who would do this? Someone who wanted to enrage you. Help me look around, please. The Chinupa is gone. Of course. What is it? A uh, ceremonial pipe. There must be some clues to what happened here. There's some whiskey here. Okay. Let me give this some more thought. Thank you, Mr. like they was doing some drinking. I see no end to any of here. this. An empty bottle of whiskey. Well, if they drank all that, they couldn't have gotten too far. Yeah, well, uh, still no sign of the Chinupa. Mr. Morgan, there's someone down there. Do you have any binoculars? Favors men. They must have been the ones who did this. Are you surprised this happened? Not at all. But. But I hope we were past this. Well, you got land they want. Land with oil. They moved us here. They've taken everything we had. I signed three treaties myself, and they've broken each one. Now they've taken the last hope. Now my people are going to want a war. A war they can't win. Let's go, girl. You said you were going to look for the Chinumpa.
lost the fight now. Who cares? My uncle married an Indian anyway. She seemed nice enough. An Indian? Sure looked like one. I'm up near the Canadian border someplace. Canada? They got Indians in Canada. Tons of them. French folk. <laughs> 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 Okay, girl. Easy, girl. Yeah. Tell me you found it. Here. I, uh, I got your things, I, I think. Yes. Thank you. I'm very sorry about this. Even sacred things are only things. People, the heart, matter more. Was anyone hurt? Yes. It's a bad business. I should not have let you do this for me, but perhaps it will stop a bigger massacre. With these, maybe I can calm my people. Maybe I can calm my son. I hope so. Thank you. Take those herbs I gave you, please. And most of all, I hope you can find peace within yourself. He's a man who, not so long ago, I would have found weak and pathetic. Now I see as wise and thoughtful and sensible. I would love to help him, or at least stop Dutch pushing his son to do something real stupid.
Charles. Hello, Abigail. Hey. It's you! Me! You saved me once. More than once. I've saved you. And now... I'm sticking to my family. These people, they 